Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Tranny and Tranny and whatever. It's my solo reviews that I've been doing. Uh, we've been doing. This was actually, I gotta give uh, C some credit. He comes up with a lot of the ideas for getting us uh, new ways to get to new audience and uh, like Patreon and um, j just different things. He does a lot of the, the communication with uh the people that watch our show and email us and uh, that do comments and stuff like that. So props to that guy. I'm just sitting here drinking whiskey and enjoying the living crap out of it. Um, so this is another solo review. Uh, we are putting these out on Mondays. So please click like and subscribe. If, you, if this is your first time seeing this channel, then you should know that the real deal is with Trenny and C, me and C, uh, on Thursdays and Saturdays. So this is just one more extra video for you guys during the week that we can actually sit down and actually go a little bit more into depth with the tasty notes and things like that. Um, okay, so without much further ado, much ado about nothing, we have the Bowmore 15 year old. So this guy here, we're getting down to the, the very ends of this bottle. So uh, I'm gonna make this a kind of a quick hitter video. This is 15 years old. It used to be called the Bowmore Darkest um, 15 year old, but they got rid of the darkest name, which I kind of think is a good idea because really the only reason they called it that is because it's the darkest color of all their whiskeys. And for them to also not have any indication saying anything about natural color on the bottle or the box. Let's just double check. I don't want to give false info here. But it really looks like there's nothing about natural color or anything like that. But it is aged for 15 years. It is... Um, aged and finished in sherry casks, so the color is probably relatively accurate. Um, so again, this is, for people who do not know, this is an Isla whiskey. This is one from uh, the place where they make, well, the main peated whiskeys. There's Ardbeg, Laphroaig, Lagavulin, Bonahaben, Coila, um, did I say Bowmore? Um, Kilhoman. Uh, what am I missing here? I think that's, that's all of them. Yeah, there, there's eight, the eight main ones. Um, so anyways, let's get right into the nose on this one. There's something about Bowmore that a lot of people kind of complain about. It's the one that, yes, it's well priced. Like you can get a Bowmore 12 year old for anywhere between 50 and $60 here, which is a really good age thing for an age statement whiskey. But there isn't a lot of depth of character in some of these Bowmores. But this is essentially, this 15 year old is the 12 year old aged for three extra years in sherry casks. So um, it does add a lot to it. There's actually lots of like tropical kind of notes. Like the underlying, under the, the peat, there's tropical notes. The peat is quite mild. It's almost like a minty spearmint style of peat in there. But the, the sherry casks really kind of shine through on this one. Um, I would not say it's a peat bomb. I wouldn't say it's something that like the people that are really obsessed with getting the big blast of smoke and like uh, iodine and all the kind of medicine cabinet style peats that like Laphroaig has. It's not going to do that for you, but it does add a nice character. It's, it's just literally smells like the, the grain has been smoked a little bit. And that's about it. Um, there's some dried fruits, definite raisins, definite kind of dusty flavors on there. There's some toffees in there. It's, it's really quite nice and I'm actually quite surprised by it because I am one of those people that kind of Oh, it's Bowmore. I'll, uh, I'll I'll get that later. I'll try it later. I always think like I I'll get something different instead of Bowmore, even if this is like on sale. Where in reality, these are pretty good whiskeys. Okay, 
Yeah, I think there's there's got to be E150 added to this. I just think it's almost too dark. Okay, anyways, flavors. Mmm. So, this is 43%. The peat shows up far stronger on the palate than it does on the nose. It is a nice kind of rich, sweet peat. Um, the raisin kind of notes and the dried fruits, fruit notes intermingle really well with it. Um, you can tell there is some age on this, so it's not a young whiskey. Sometimes uh, on these scotches that are being covered up with peat, because peat behaves a it's stronger at a younger age a lot of the time, so sometimes it is there to cover up a younger whiskey. With this being 15 years old, you know that this has spent some time in the barrels. Mm. This is honestly, for something that probably has colorant added and chill filtered and all those sorts of things, it's pretty well-rounded, quite well-balanced. The, the oak shows up on the end of the palate as it's kind of you're you're letting it settle the oak is there the sweetness is definitely there the again just like peated whiskies and i've talked about it before it, they're, they're not those kind of uh whiskies that you can <laughs> it will be on your breath is what i'm trying to say it's it's on your breath later on People, like, as soon as you pour a peated whiskey, a lot of people go, whoa, 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 what's that smell? Uh, but for those who don't know, it's something you don't forget, that's for sure. Okay, a couple more tasting notes here. Hmm. There's some brown sugars. There's some molasses. There is a slight um, citrus note, like tropical notes on the flavor. It's almost more kind of pineapple, like the acidity of a pineapple. But there's also the darker fruits in there too, and like a little bit of toffee, and like I said, the brown sugar. So it's a, it's a good contrast, contrast. It's well balanced. I'm quite liking it right now. And that is something to be said about whiskey. Sometimes you can have a moment with a bottle of whiskey, even if it's something like this that you didn't think you ever would. And that's all that it really takes. You know, I've had whiskeys that I struggle with, that I'm trying to find something really good about it. Um, and it just might not happen. Where there's some that it's very unexpected, like something like this I'm actually quite enjoying. And you have a moment with it. You, you kind of get to know it a little bit. And... So for that reason, I'm saying this is a definitely go out and buy it and try it. If you can find the 15-year-old that is still called Darkest, well, you should probably put that in your collection because it's not being made anymore. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm Trenny. This is a part of the Trenny and C channel. Thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe, comment, and we will most likely get back to you at some point. Or like I said, C definitely will. Me? I'll probably read them and chuckle, but I might not get back to you. Anyways, cheers, guys. Thank you for joining, uh, and we will see you next Monday. Jenny and C, drinking whiskey, describing all the flavors for you and me. Irish scotch, bourbon and rye. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Subscribe on YouTube.